Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Um, you might have noticed that there were no new videos in the last two and a half, three weeks. That is because I had an open heart surgery and they cut me open from here to here and also in my leg and took out a blood vessel and put it as a bypass into my heart or onto my heart. And I had a um, heart valve replacement um, with a carbon thing and they had to cut me open with a saw on the sternum right here. Yeah, so that was uh, really fun. Uh, kind of a retro repair. And if you take a look at the photo here, you can see that they actually put stuff into me and uh, wires and all that. And that will be left inside me. And it looks a little bit like the uh, abomination repairs I do on the channel. So that seems pretty fitting. Um, the side effect of that is that I was really weak in the last weeks and had to get back to health and to strength and uh, I'm still not allowed to lift stuff that is more than five kilos and that uh, rules out most of the retro computers we have around here so that pad I can't lift right now. Interesting fact that um, I had to wear such a like a bandage around my chest and uh, that uh, led to my um, muscles degenerate uh, here and here. So I don't actually have any strength anymore. So I have to uh, train now, which I haven't done in my whole life. So hmm, that is that. So at the age of uh, 48, I'm 48 right now, turning 49 uh, in June, um, I'm pretty much uh, yeah, a cyborg now with uh, some uh, spare parts, not original uh, manufacturer stuff. And um, yeah, looking forward to doing more videos. But right now I'm in a spot where I don't have any idea what video to do next. Um, before the break, let's call it a break, um, more like a cut. Um, I had a lot of Commodore videos on and Mr. videos, but I want to focus more on what you guys want to see. So what I want to do in this video is uh, take you around um, in my space here, uh, show you a few machines and what could be done to them or what we could have as a project. And um, yeah, let you decide what kind of projects you want to see next. I also got approached by PCBWay to do some um, original projects, so to design some PCBs and stuff like that. And that might be an option too. So um, yeah, let's uh, check out what's in this room right here and what we could do. So I'm going steady cam now and the first thing we could do is I have three of these original Xboxes. This one is in very good shape and it works, but I have two which are totally dirty. You might have, might have seen these in the uh, retro packages videos uh, some time ago and I still have them and I could repair them. So that would be an option. I have one of these Macs which is uh, dead, the power supply failed and I could repair the power supply. This is an old IBM machine. It's a Celeron D, which came with Windows XP. And I tried to turn this into an MS-DOS gaming machine because it has both a disk drive and a CD drive. And it has some interesting audio capabilities. Um, yeah, we could do a project like this and turn a, let's say, I guess I bought this for 25 euros, turn a 25 euro machine into a retro gaming PC, which would be interesting. I was always thinking about doing a live. So maybe we could do a live video where we discuss all the classic retro games. I have Dungeon Master, the Roberta Williams anthology, Command and Conquer, Civilization, some old LucasArts games, uh, some Sierra games, and even more on the other side of the room. So that could be interesting too. And also here are some books, um, the game console, 
Code the Classics, which is a book which shows some of the classic uh, games from the 80s and 70s and how to program them, I guess, in Python. Um, and yeah. Next up, I have the um, 3040 double floppy drive, which still isn't working. And I guess I did a video, or it was maybe my last video before the break, um, about this. And I'm still, I still haven't fixed it, so that could be an interesting video. Here are some more of the classic games, like the Sim Classics and Lemmings and Rock Roll Populous and uh, 10 Adventures, which is actually the LucasArts collection. I have a box full of minis, Sega Mega Drive Mini and Nintendo Minis and Neo Geo Minis. So if you're interested in, interested in that, let me know. I have an Apple IIe, which I cleaned and repaired, or at least removed the reefers after they blow or blew up and stank. So uh, yeah, we could do an Apple II tutorial and I could show you how to get software onto that using only your PC's sound card, which is quite a strange, a strange construction. And it took me several attempts to create discs because I didn't have a single one of these. Never worked on Apple II before. And uh, I got this machine for, I guess, 200 euros or so, or 250, with a monitor and drives and it's now in really great condition. I have a Mac SE 20 and never opened this. It actually works, the picture is a little squeezed, but it does work. So we could take a look at System 7, System 7.5 and uh, external SCSI drives and stuff like that. I also have an LC2, I guess it is. Yes, it is. Um, with a matching color monitor. Could take a look at that. I have some more Macs down here and an IBM G, uh, no, 300 GL it is, which I also turned into a retro machine. This is a Pentium 3. Up there, there's another ThinkPad, and down here is a Mac Pro, the old cheese grater. There's the Tower Amiga still, still alive. So much stuff here. I have to put it on carts to move it around. There's an IBM Aptiva in the back, which is actually working, and a small IBM VGA black and white monitor. If you look closely, you can see that it's completely burned in. A friend gave that to me. It was used inside um, a carpenter's um, workshop, running some machines. Here are a few machines, like uh, a few arm strip machines. This is an Amstrad CPC 6128, which I still have to repair. The disk drive is broken and some other stuff. There's a Sony Vaio, which is um, a TV and a DVD player and a PC, which I couldn't get to run. I guess I bought this for 10 or so euros. There's an Amstrad CPC 464, not working. Inside here is a 1541 disk drive, which is dead, I guess. That's the modded Atari with the Raspberry Pi inside. There's just the case of some gaming console. Here we have the EG2000 Color G, which doesn't work. And I plan to fix it. There's no Atari. 1040 STF, which I guess works, not sure. But I still have an Atari project um, in the making. And I have some Atari ST stuff in here. There's a 520 ST, some disk drives, and this, which is the Ultra or Ultra Satan, Ultra Satan. Um, hard disk replacement for the Atari ST. And I have to do a video about this. 
I guess. There's a C64 handheld, which I built. And the pad. And there are some other projects like the 1541 2 pet project, which I yeah, not abandoned, but at least paused for a while because I couldn't get the interface to work. So that is one thing. Here's another 1541, which I bought for 15 euros, which is dead and which killed my C64, which is down here. And it has this fantastic dust cover courtesy of Charles Horn. So if you're looking for one of these dust covers, just check out Charlie's, I guess he has a shop, I'm not sure, but he's on Facebook. He's very active in the Commodore, Commodore groups on Facebook. I could show you how I made this bubble bobble um, arcade. Wasn't too complicated. I also have one of these iBos, which has a dead battery and I tried to uh, rejuvenile the battery but it did not work which is a shame and since then this poor thing sits on top of my arcade doing nothing yeah so oh, that is by the way the back side of my studio so you all, always only see that table in front of you and that is the back side you're interested with the lighting and there are some monitors you can see there's loads of stuff here and even more in this huge cupboard and stuff on top like the Ecto and some C64s yeah so that is all the stuff I have in this room right now so if you have any kind of opinion please leave a comment down below um, let me know what kind of projects you want to see and what kind of brands you want to see more do you want to see more Commodore more Atari more Amstrad or Schneider uh, more PC stuff more Mac stuff um, I have all kinds of things right here so yeah just let me know until next time thanks for watching and bye bye thank you for watching retro is the new black if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.